Hello! I've got an obscure little book to tell you about today. I have no idea where it came from or how my friend happened to get it, since I think it's self-published and it only came out in May. It doesn't even have a Goodreads entry, but my friend read it and she came up to me and she said, you have to read this. So I did, and because she thought it would be fun, now I'm going to tell you about it. This is a book called Doc at the Reference Desk by Thomas Mann. It is a collection of ten short stories that are fictionalized anecdotes based on Mann's 30 years of experience working as a general reference librarian at the Library of Congress. The book is a quick read, it's very thin as you can see, and it's only 77 pages of very spaced out text, and it made for an amusing hour and a half or so because of its light, tongue-in-cheek style. You don't have to have worked in a library at any point in your life in order to get a kick out of the stories, but I'd say if you have worked in a library, that's probably a bonus. Like most avid readers and bibliophiles, I love libraries. I've never been to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., but I know it has a vast collection, and the way Man describes it, it's worth drooling over. Unfortunately for those of us who like to browse the shelves, much of the Library of Congress's collection is not open to the public, but oh well. In large part, this book is a refutation of the rising sentiment that libraries have become obsolete because you can find all the information you will ever need on the internet. Over and over again, Mann disproves that thought by having his main character, Doc, speedily provide even the most skeptical people with books overflowing with information that they could never find online. This character, Doc, who is a shameless people-watcher, also displays an uncanny Sherlock Holmes-like ability to correctly deduce pretty much everything about a person based solely on a quick but thorough examination of their physical appearance. It's amazing, and he uses this skill to great effect in his work. He does have a tendency to be snarky, to a degree that a real-life employee would never get away with, and I got the impression that Man or Doc, or maybe it's both, is a bit of a curmudgeon when it comes to certain people, namely arrogant corporate representatives and cocky millennials and Gen Xers. I understand where he's coming from, but speaking as a younger person myself, I do find some of his generalizations unfair. I may get lumped in with the millennials just because of the year that I was born, but there are many things that I do not share with them, including the idea that the internet and all the newfangled technology is the best thing ever and we should get rid of libraries. I can turn into a curmudgeon myself on that subject, so be careful with your assumptions. There is a melancholy note toward the end that took me by surprise. Man says that the entire library is going to be switching from subject-based shelving, a logical system that I guess the Library of Congress itself originated, to height-based shelving in order to open up space for new books. I guess that's smart for consolidation purposes, but it will make it harder for people and librarians to find related books for research projects. I agree with Mann. It seems a senseless, and impractical way to organize such a library. If they're truly going to implement such a plan, that's a disappointment. But aside from that little divergence, the book is fun and entertaining, it made me chuckle several times, it does have quite a few typographical errors which made my inner proofreader cringe, but that didn't prevent my enjoying the book and having a very good time with it. So I hope you liked this review, random and obscure though the subject was, and we'll look into this book if it sparks your interest. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching! Bye!